eutectic system. Previously, we looked at the development of microstructure in the isomorphous binary system. We're going to use this <coughs> LED and team um, eutectic system. Okay, so, so the first case for which the alloy of lead and tin in which the, um, the CO, the composition that we are looking into, is actually less than 2 weight percent of tin. So if it's less than 2 weight percent of tin, it's actually located at almost pure region of lead. So this is like almost pure origin or we can say pure origin lah. pure origin of lead all right so for the lead tin system this includes the lead rich alloys containing between zero and about two weight percent of tin okay um as we cool this alloy as we cool down from this temperature, okay, at point A, we look at this point A. This is the microstructure will look like or shall look like in which it's just a complete plane circle and it's just liquid. There is no appearance of solid at all. And upon further cooling to this point B, it actually enters this alpha plus liquid region in which there will be some um, formation of alpha solid you can see for the microstructure development this is solid and the yellow colored circle is the liquid as it goes down further cool as the temperature decreases so it will crosses this um, solid solubility line or the solidus line so it uh, enters this completely solid phase so all the liquid will be solidified so we have 100% alpha solid here okay and it goes down and down and down, further down, and there will be no more changes in the microstructures. Let's look at the second case of the microstructure developments in eutectic system. So in this second case, we are going to look into this region from 2.8% of tin until 18.3% of tin, meaning from here, from this region here, uh, to eight percent until this region which is 18.3 so why to eight percent so this is the um, the room temperature solubility limit because it will go down until room temperature so this is the room temperature solubility limit until the uh, maximum solid solubility until this point maximum solid solubility and the eutectic temperature so this is the region that we are going to look into which is from here to here so let's focus on this line here the dash line which connects x to x prime and along this line we have four points point d point E, point F, and point G. The development of microstructures at point D, E, and F are very semi similar to the first case which I have explained in my first video or the previous video. Now, from point F, if we further cool the alloy, it will cross this solvus line and entering this alpha plus beta solid solution region so let's look at this point g in which we are taking we are focusing on uh, c2 here the, the, this this type of this composition okay so at point g you can see 
that they are formation of beta phase particles, tiny, tiny bits of beta phase particles, this blue line here, um, together with the alpha solid or alpha grains. So the red color is alpha grains, and the blue color here are the um, beta phase particles. And upon further, further cooling, it will have the same microstructures, only that the beta phase particles will grow in size as the mass fraction of the beta phase increases with decreasing temperature.